Well, good morning. This morning our scripture's found in Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, and it goes like this. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, I was thinking this morning as I was reading the word about standing on the promises. Oh, my goodness. You know, the, the, the Bible's filled, absolutely filled with promises that God has given you and I. Yet many of us, we forget about those promises. We really do. And we let the things of this old world just, you know, beat down heavy on us. And we just want to throw up our hands, you know, and give up. But no, we serve a God that loves us. We serve a God that wants to take care of us. And he's made many, many, many promises. And, and he'll never go back on those promises. I remember back many years ago, we don't hear it no more, seems like in most churches, but there was an old song called Standing on the Promises. Uh, and I'd like to refresh your memory, or if you haven't heard it, maybe it'll brighten your day. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let his praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. And the chorus goes like, Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Another verse is standing on the promises that cannot fail. When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail, by the living word of God I shall prevail, standing on the promises of God. The next verse is standing on the promises of Christ the Lord, bound to him eternally by love's strong cord, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword, standing on the promises of God. And then the final verse is standing on the promises, I cannot fall, listening every moment to the Spirit's call, resting in my Savior, in my all in all, standing on the promises of God. You see, folks, God has placed so many promises in his word. And if we just stand firm on those promises, our days will go by better. Uh, we'll be uh, having that joy spring up in us if we will remember the promises that God has given us in his word. I would like to do a session on all the promises, but no one would want to listen that long because that's how many promises there is in the Bible. Well, I hope this encourages you today. Search the scriptures. Find the promises that God has made for you and I as his children. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.